I'm gonna give you some do's and don'ts when it comes to writing transgender characters. Welcome to Pride Month. This video is aimed at allies, people who are not transgender but who want to include us in their works. And first of all, I want to give a sincere thank you to anyone who is even thinking of including transgender characters in their works of art. It means a lot. This is also a brief overview. It's all from my perspective and if you disagree or if you have questions, feel free to comment below or send me an email or a DM. My contact info is in the description. But please be respectful. I wish I didn't have to say this, but any comment that I view as transphobic or otherwise just disrespectful, I will delete because I want this to be a safe place. Now getting to the do's and don'ts, and I'm going to start with something that is potentially controversial. Do include transgender characters in your stories, but do not write a transgender protagonist unless you are transgender. Now obviously with research and a lot of work, a cis person can write a great transgender protagonist. And a lot of people think that's great. I have gone a bit back and forth, but I am starting to settle on I want own voices. So I'm not saying that you can't do this, I'm saying that in my opinion you shouldn't. And that really has one very simple reason, and that is that publishers are a bit narrow-minded. If a publishing house has already published a book with a transgender character, a lot of them are gonna feel that that's it, we've done our part, we don't need another book with a transgender character or a transgender protagonist, because they care mostly about the protagonist. Um, so if a cis person wrote that book that they have published with a transgender protagonist, then they're not going to publish anymore. Meaning any transgender author who has written a book with a transgender protagonist is not going to get published. Now, of course, they can go like they can go to uh, smaller publishing companies, go indie or uh, or self-publish, but it is not fair that they can't have a big publishing company to back them up if that is what they want, because that spot in the publishing house has already been taken by a cis person. And by the way, this is true for most, if not all minorities, it's trans or gay or person of color or whatever it is. This is unfortunately the case. And it's not just something that we are afraid will happen, it is something that does happen all the time. And I just think that that's not okay. Now, hopefully in the future, publishers will realize that they need more than one book about trans people. But until then, this is my opinion. And again, I know that this is an issue where there are varying opinions. And if you want to discuss this with me, my comments are open, my DMs, my emails. Uh, just again, keep it civil. That said, I do want to see more trans characters in books. Just don't make them the protagonist make them a friend, a family member, a co-worker, even a rival of your protagonist. Basically just make sure that they are included somewhere. I also personally, again my opinion, I don't want to see books written about how difficult it is to be trans and the trans experience. I would really much rather write a book about killing dragons and saving the world where a character happens to be trans than reading a book about how difficult it is to be trans, because I know how difficult it is to be trans. And when I read, I want to see a world where it isn't. And I'm going to get to that actually in another video, so stay tuned for that. Next is do not fall into stereotypes. Do make your trans characters complex. Because trans people are complex, we are complicated, and there is more to our personalities than just being transgender. Sometimes we don't care that we're trans, we just want to be us, ourselves. For example, when I was transitioning, I was told that I should wear more muted colors, or I was, it was recommended to me that maybe if you wore more muted colors, you would pass easier as a man, which would have been true, probably, because men dress in boring colors, but I don't. Colors is a part of who I am, and I while I did struggle with this decision, I eventually decided that I didn't want to deny that part of who I was just so I could pass more easily. I also don't have any stereotypically manly interests. Um, I don't like sports. I only know enough about cars to be able to drive them. I do not like beer. 
I don't know any other stereotypically male interests, but either way, all of my interests are either more or less gender neutral. I think writing isn't considered a manly or womanly interest. Um, I like sewing and I'm basically just not a very manly man. <laughs> So basically just remember that and make sure to give your transgender characters other personality traits and motivations for some of the things that they do than being able to pass as well as possible as a man or a woman or whatever else. That said, do remember that dysphoria is real and it is painful. A trans character should probably be uncomfortable with their body. That is a thing that I think all of us have in common. They probably want to pass as the gender they identify as, so anything that makes them makes it harder for them to do so is going to be anywhere from annoying to painful. And that is facial hair for a trans woman or breasts for a trans man and uh, body shapes and things like that. It probably varies. I think most trans people have days when they're more okay with their bodies than other, other days, um, but basically it's it's there. So your character will want to do things to pass easier. If possible they might want to transition, although I will say not all trans people do actually want to transition or they don't want to transition all the way. Uh, that's a personal choice. But otherwise a trans man might bind their chest, a trans woman might shave a lot if she doesn't have access to, to laser hair removal, uh, wearing baggy clothes is generally a good way to hide your body shape. I'm actually going to do an entire video on what a trans character, a female to male trans character might do to pass if they don't have access to medical treatment, uh, so stay tuned for that. But I'm only going to do one for now at least uh, for female to male because, well, that's me. That is what I know. If you're doing in the other direction or in any other direction, there are a lot of places out there to do research. Another painful thing is being misgendered. Being misgendered is horrible, it is annoying, it eats away at your self-esteem and your trans character is going to be so sick of it. And that is regardless of how well they pass. Even if they pass really well, anytime someone misgenders them, that is gonna hurt. Do remember though that that will show in many different ways. Again, this goes back to being a complex, complex character. Sometimes they might eloquently and patiently try to explain to a person uh, what being transgender is and why it's a bad thing to misgender them and so on. Sometimes they're just gonna sigh and shrug, shake their head and go away because they don't have the energy. Uh, sometimes they might get angry, which either leads to fighting with this ignorant person or leads to walking away and then just having a long rant with their friends. There is also the reaction of just having given up and saying it's fine, I don't care, which might be true, but more likely it's a defensive mechanism to just not spend that energy that it takes to care. They might also sometimes need a friend to step in and take the fight for them, or they might sometimes just need someone who is nodding and agreeing in the background, and I am going to make an entire video on how to write your protagonist or other characters as a good trans ally. Notice that I'm assuming that you're writing a society that is just as ignorant on transgender issues as the Western culture I live in in 2020. This is not something that you have to do, and I am going to make a video on how to write a more gender inclusive society, so stay tuned for that as well. But the point is, the thing you need to remember is that your transgender character is a complex person, and they have probably been through a lot and still goes through a lot in order to pass and be able to live a normal life because that is what we want. We want a normal life where we can be ourselves, have the interests and tastes that we have without having other people question us. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for being a good ally, and stay tuned for more videos on this topic. I'll see you soon.